Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Following a recently signed agreement between two top South African research institutions, the career-based Square Kilometre Array site for radio astronomy research will soon become a site for Earth observation research too. Senior journalist Keith Campbell has been following the story and he's here to tell us more. Welcome Keith. Keith, can you tell me more about the recently signed Memorandum of Agreement? Well, what is an agreement between the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory, which is the recently established body now responsible for all radio astronomy ac activities in South Africa? Previously, there were two of those. Square Kilometre Array South Africa, which is responsible for the Meerkat Radio Telescope Array now being built in the Karoo, and for South Africa's involvement in the international SKA project and for the prototype CAT-7 array already in the Karoo and the Hart Basuk Radio Astronomy Observatory. These have now been brought together under one body, the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory. Uh, that is the uh, partner on the one hand. On the other hand, there's the South African Environmental uh, Observation Network, or SEON. Uh, these both these bodies fall under the National Research Foundation. Now, what they've done, they've signed a memorandum of agreement which will ensure environmental monitoring of the SKA Meerkat site in the Karoo, both the core site and the uh, territory that will be covered by three arms that will radiate out from the core site. Uh, the arms will contain outstations for the SKA. Uh, not only that, but the results of the monitoring will also be fed back into the planning uh, for the SKA, for the actual construction of the SKA. Keith, as per the agreement, how exactly will the two institutions serve the Integrated Environmental Management Plan? Well, basically, the agreement will uh, result in the um, Environmental Observation Network developing plans to protect the environment uh, in the SKA area. They will be developing uh, an aquatic and ecological uh, plan. They'll be developing an environmental management plan, they'll be developing a land use plan, they'll be developing a replanting and revegetation plan uh, for plant life in the area. So there's going to be a whole string of plans to minimize the environmental impact of the construction of the SKA in the Karoo. And these uh, services will be provided to uh, the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory. Uh, the, the area covered is something like 130,000 hectares. So it's quite a large territory that has been covered by this agreement. The Meerkat construction was also recently recognized at uh, the 27 Logistics Achiever Awards. Can you tell me more about this? Well, they got a special platinum award from the 2017 Logistics Achievers Awards. Uh, this is in recognition of the fact that they're building a complex uh, scientific instrument in, um, I hope the good citizens of Carnarvon do not take this to a mess, but basically in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> it's actually the core of something like 80 kilometers away from the small town of Carnarvon, which is the nearest um, urban area. So there's a, a, an awful lot of uh, logistical planning involved. Uh, there's been a need to put in a lot of logistical infrastructure. Um, there's been a need to be innovative in how they handle logistics. They're bringing components from all over South Africa uh, and assembling systems in uh, the, the um, reservation area they have a, you know they have a dish assembly facility on the site so there's been an awful lot of uh, planning and innovation required to on the logistics side to bring meerkat together and will be needed to bring the SKA together in the future 
Thank you very much, Keith. That's the second Psych Show for this week. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for more news analysis.